<clears throat> good morning, good morning. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Michelle. I'm just getting set up here. Hi, Anki. How are you? Hi, Debbie. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Linda. Hi, Regina. Hey, Barbara. Oh, my coat. Honey, let me tell y'all, it's 42 degrees here this morning. I had to get my winter coat out. I woke up to the smell of not coffee, but uh, I woke up to the smell of um, my heat pump. You know how when you switch over from air conditioning to uh, the heat cycle and it kind of has that burny smell to it? Yeah, honey, that's what I woke up to. Uh, I asked Keith, I said, what's that smell? He said, well, I had to turn the heat on. He said it was I think he said it was 62 degrees in our house this morning. So we put it on 68 just to knock off the chill so we could get ready this morning. But yes, it's cold. Uh, I think the high today is going to hover right around 65. But you guys, there's not a cloud in the sky. The sky is all blue and no humidity. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful day. Bright sunshine. Uh, so I am going to decorate my house for fall this afternoon. Um, I didn't get to decorate last year because, you know, I, we were in the middle of a remodel project. So, um, I don't even think I had a dining room table this time last year. I don't think so. Uh, but anyway, I am going to um, do that today. Uh, thank you, Danielle. These are face-to-face -face frames. They are from uh, Paris. Um, and they have this little bit of cheetah print on the top and on the sides as well. They're a little bit larger than what I normally wear, but I'm getting used to them, so thank you. But anyway, it's going to be a gorgeous day here. And uh, so I wanted to show you guys a couple things in fall nails today. If you need to write this down, go ahead and grab your notebook here. Let me just clear this out of the way. We're just a tad bit early believe as far as our time goes. So uh, let's just let everybody get logged on. Good morning, everybody. Give me some hearts if it's your first time here. We want you to share this because I'm going to give uh, something away today. Um, and you don't want to miss that. Let's get my stand done here. And let's get this turned around. If you missed the Orly Deep Wonder, not Deep Wonder, if you missed uh, Desert Muse, the current Orly fall collection. She is sold out. Uh, I'm going to try to get you guys more of that. I can't promise. I have sold out not once, but four times and had to reorder. This is a great um, fall collection as well. Look at these colors, how pretty. So today I'm going to put this one on myself. But uh, Mystic Maven, Wild Wonder, Cosmic Crimson, Lucid Dream, Nebula, and Retrograde. Um, I'm not going to open this set because this is brand new. This is uh, on our website. You just go in the little search bar and you type the word deep and she'll come up. Okay? And guess what? I put this on sale for y'all. For those of you that were not able to get the other fall collection, um, you get all six gel polishes for only $40 Total. Total. Plus your shipping, of course. So let me show you what these look like. Um, and this is what I'm going to work with today. Mystic Maven is just this beautiful, mauve purpley. You can tell we use this one a whole lot. She is just beautiful. So that's the first one in the set. She, this is a cream, by the way. This doesn't have a pearl finish to it. Just a solid, this gorgeous um, plum kind of cream shade. The next one in the set is Wild Wonder. Now, she's the same way. It's a red, but it's a warm red. And it's also a cream. There's no frost, no pearl, no shimmer to that. 
And these are full-size bottles, you guys. You get all six of them for $40. Somebody do the math for me real fast. How, how much is that per bottle of gel polish? This one is well used to Cosmic Crimson. She reminds me of I'm not really a waitress red, only she's not as red. She's more on that fall side of it's a little red, it's a little burgundy, and it's a little bit of a rusty undertone to that. A warm undertone. And that is a pearl finish. Then we have Lucid Dream. It's one of my favorites. Look at her, you guys. It's just this gorgeous. And see, I need to shake mine up. I just put took this off the shelf. Beautiful rose gold. There's no other way around it. She is just a fabulous, fabulous rose gold. Now, Orly gel polishes are 100% gel. They are not a hybrid. It's a squirt of gel and a squirt of liquid pigment. So when you get these, put these on your shaker or uh, give them a really good shake yourself. Nebula is this beautiful purple, frosty purple. Look at that. I have to show you on my glove because this is, it's so pretty. Look. Oh, Cindy, is this what you put on your daughter that was so pretty? Well, I'm going to show you how to take it up a notch and then retrograde. This is my favorite. I, I don't know why I love this color so much and I've never worn it. Maybe I shall wear this instead of the red one I was going to wear because I do wear, wear red a lot. Look at this one. This beautiful teal. Is that not gorgeous? Like a, a deep peacock. So that is what comes in this particular collection. I kind of like to fill y'all in so you know, um, you know, what's what in there. And we're going to pair this today with um, Diamond Touch and our Quasar Magnet. Okay, so let me show you. Let's get the shine off of this nail tip here and let me zoom in a little bit. How is everybody today? Y'all have plans for this Sunday? Uh, my daughters and I are having dinner tonight. They they both live in the same town, but they live away from me. They're eh, 30 minutes or so away from me. Uh, and we're all going to meet at the local Mexican restaurant in their town tonight and have dinner. And then we're going back to my oldest daughter's house. They just put in a a hot tub and uh, she's like mom you want to come and use the hot tub because she knows you know my shoulders and that kind of thing bother me so I'm gonna go get a little therapy tonight grandbaby therapy all the way around uh-huh well let's go with wild wonder honey because you notice my favorite color so let me lay down a little bit of a base coat on here just because I don't, y'all know me, I don't like to polish straight over these plastic uh, nail pops. I like to have, you know, my surface down like I would put on my client. It just makes the nail art or whatever you're doing, it makes it more successful. Because we wouldn't put the gel straight on a client's nail, would we? All right, let's pop that in the lamp. And let's go, let's do a couple of these here. because I'm gonna ombre a couple of these gel polishes. Have y'all ombre gel before? I know a lot of you have ombre pigment onto your gel, but I'm gonna show you how to ombre your two, a couple, three gel polishes together. Let's do it. Let's do it. I didn't have a class last Sunday. I forgot to tell you guys I was teaching a live class last Sunday, so I couldn't come on uh, my Facebook class last Sunday, and it completely slipped my mind to say anything to you. I apologize. So I'm gonna make up for that today and give you a good little tutorial here. If you guys don't mind, please hit your share button. We're going to do a drawing 
and uh, give some gel polishes away. And the only way that you can win is if you like and share the post. Obviously, you have to be a liker of the page in order to share it, I believe. I don't know. This Facebook thing's about drove me crazy the last week. We still, um, you guys still are not able to post any photos to the, pa the Facebook page. So, hopefully, in a couple days, we will have that fixed. Technology is great as long as it works for you. But when she quits working, I don't quite know what to do with it. All right, here we go. Wild Wonder, thanks for being here from Texas. Let's put a coat of this on here. Now, you're going to see this is almost full coverage on the first coat. Look. Look how opaque that is. Isn't this a beautiful red? It's that gorgeous fall undertone red, that warm red, but not an orangey red. It is not an orangey red. It reminds me of a suede, a suede red. And I believe for nail art purposes that we can get by with one coat of this. Oh yeah, beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let that level out just a second, and we'll pop this in the lamp. Now, while that's in the lamp, that's going to be the basis for one of our um, kind of um, dolled up nail art here. Let's grab a couple others of these. Let's do uh, Mystic Maven, because that's a cream, and... Um, well, probably I should have done those two together. Let me pick out two different ones here. Let's do Cosmic Crimson and Lucid Dream. We'll do those two. We're going to ombre these two together. And let me put this Lucid Dream on the shaker. It's a little chilly in my salon this morning, too. So sometimes, you know, if you live in colder climates, you do have to... Kind of use your body heat, roll those, warm them up a bit. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. So what I'm going to do is just kind of divide this nail right down the middle. And I'm going to do one half in the Cosmic Crimson. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm going to do the other half in Lucid Dream when she comes off the shaker here. And you're going to need, this is my ombre brush. See there? We sell this in the store. Perfect little brush for getting these colors to just blend nicely together. So now right up beside of this, just going to nudge this color. This bottle's almost empty. We've used so much of it. Just nudge it right up next to it, just like that. And now we're going to take our ombre brush and just like a little typewriter, I'm just going to go back and forth where these um where these colors meet. So Really slowly, let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. I'm doing about one, two, three, and then one, two, three. One, two, three. One, what, what I'm doing basically is just dragging these colors into each other. Now I'll speed it up a little bit here. And if you have your client's body heat under here, that helps level out everything. And it actually helps your ombre um, just settle. Look at that, how beautiful. That's almost a seamless blend. That's one coat, and we're going to cure that. Paula, you're right. These colors are so pretty together. Um, that's why I like getting my things, like, in a collection. Because, um, you know, they've already done the hard work for me as far as figuring out what goes together, what looks good together. Now, I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of alcohol 
in my uh, ombre brush here because I don't want to drag what's in this brush back through the next layer. I want a clean brush so I get a really clean ombre on the next layer. Here we go. That's one coat of each. Let's do the same thing again, Cosmic Crimson. Now you can see we're starting to get uh, really opaqueness to those colors. I find the pearl shades, they definitely need two coats because they are pearlized and takes two coats to really cover with those. Again, nudge that right up next to each other. I don't like that little gel that's wandering away from me there. And let me fix that. These nail pops are the worst ever to work on because they have such a high arch to the back of them. See that? All right, clean brush. We're gonna do the same thing. Walk to the right and now walk to the left. And you wanna overlap this a little bit so that you're getting a really pretty ombre blend. I can never ombre gel polishes until I start it using this brand. And, and it's not just this color set, but I've ombre um, for y'all before and they just work so nicely together. And I love doing a vertical ombre. I haven't done that in a while. Vertical means this way. There's a little air bubble right there. But you could do horizontal ombre as well if you wanted to. I, Susan, I'm using the Orly Deep Wonder Collection. It's 100% gel. It is not a hybrid polish. And this collection is on sale in our store uh, through tonight. You get all six gel polishes for only $40. Look how pretty that is. Now let's go under the lamp with that. And I'll show you real quick, if you're just joining, let me back off. Let me zoom out a bit. This is what I'm using. Deep Wonder. All six shades of gel polish. You get the whole set for 40. These colors are absolutely gorgeous. If you missed out on the other fall collection that we had, I'm trying to get y'all some more of that, but I can't promise. Uh, this would be a, just a fabulous alternative for your, your fall colors. Not everybody wants orange and brown and gold and yellow. I wouldn't wear those colors, but I definitely um, would wear these. And there is that nail that we just ombre the two shades together. Now, we're going to, you see that wiggly light line in there? That's because we touched this gel polish to ombre it so the surface is no longer level. So let's grab us a little bit of bodyguard because we know that will level it out for us. Just brush a thin, thin coat. Kind of like a schmoozy layer, not as thin as a base coat would be. You see, she's still very wiggly right there. And now we're going to grab just a little bead and we're going to drag that right down the middle. And that'll straighten out that light line and make the nail really smooth for us. And let's put a little body heat to it here. Look, look how she's starting to straighten. Oh, yeah. Just give it a second, don't rush it. Now look at that light line, how straight she is. Give it just a moment, and if you're still having issues, you can always flip upside down and let that gel kind of pull to the top of there. I just wanna level this out. I'm gonna put some magnetic gel on it too. There we go. Um, but I didn't want my magnetic gel to, to kind of pull ruffly because the surface was ruffled. All right. I've got a double-ended magnet. It's a quasar magnet. If you don't know, one of these ends kind of pushes away and the other end pulls towards you. All right. If you didn't know that, that's how these magnets work. Let me get some room here. And I'm also going to use 
Diamond Touch. You can use this over any color. It does not matter what you put it over. Let me put my tops on here. All right, so now we're gonna take that nail that we just beautifully ombre and we're gonna do the Diamond Touch over top. Let's zoom in so you can see. And this is what Diamond Touch looks like. Don't worry, it's not gonna be opaque silver. Not gonna be really silver at all. We're gonna do a super thin coat over the top of all of this. See why it was important for me to straighten out that light line? So let's just brush all over, nice and even. Don't leave parts thicker than other or thinner than other. Just keep brushing it and work that out of there. There we go. Now watch, here's our magnet. I'm gonna use this little end. Watch what happens. I'm gonna come in from this direction here we go. And I'm going to push away. I come down here. And I'm going to push away. Look how pretty. Or I can take this end and I can just put all that back together and pull I can even go under the nail and pull just a little bit. This just puts a little bit of a white crystallized diamond finish to the nail. And you can just continue to play around with this. Let's say you get your diamond pattern on there and you don't like it. Then what are you going to do? What if you got too much diamond gel? Just wipe it off. If you don't like the little hollow you're getting here, take your brush that's dried off and reactivate what you got sitting on top of the nail. Just brush right back over it. Look, you just reactivated it. Now let's push out of the way again. Oh yeah. You can push down here. Turn it around. The round end does put these pretty little kind of prissy curves in it. So this is not really changing the color of this gel polish. What this is doing is just adding a little touch of diamond finish to it. Isn't that beautiful? And you can put that finish on here any way you want to. You just keep turning your magnet, do it, making it do what you want it to do. And these magnets are cheap. They're, I think they're $7 or something. I personally like this. I'm gonna push just a little bit more here. And I'm going to go right in here. There we go. I love that. So now I have an ombre with kind of like a clear cat eye over top of it. It's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Look at that ombre. Dark, dark crimson over here, faded into rose gold with the diamond over top of it. You just keep pulling it and doing it however you like your pattern to be. You wanna concentrate that right down the side. It's beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna pop this in the lamp. And we'll come back to that one. Remember this first one we did? Look at that gorgeous fall red. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. Let's make us a little palette here. 
I know, Ramona. It's gorgeous. This is the Diamond Touch. If you're going to use this, you only need this and your magnet. Period. So we're going to put a little bit of the Diamond Touch out and just work off of uh, a palette here. And I'm using the Royal Precision Brush, about like that. And we're gonna paint this on. Let's go right in the middle of this nail. And let's do, um, let's do just a little diamond shape here. And to get my diamond, I'm first going to paint on uh, maybe like a little cross just to kind of have as my guide. And then we'll just join it together. Super easy. Thank you to whoever just placed an order. If you've not ordered from us before, you know our items sell out fairly quickly. Um, we are working on getting that remedied for you. So that we can have more in stock for you guys. Now, you want to give this a healthy, just a healthy fill in there. And before I cure this diamond, let's take our magnet and let's pull a little bit of this color. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, into the lamp she goes. Or actually, let's just use our little flashlight and we will freeze cure these along the way. You know, I don't wanna let this sit here in those pretty metallic pigments just kind of all run back together. We want to freeze each one. Look at that, how beautiful. Now let's go, let's see here. Let's do, um, how about we go this direction. We don't want to touch that. We want there to be a little border in between. about right there. And since I'm gonna fill in that entire area, I'm actually going to work right from the bottle because I don't wanna paint that in with the little tiny brush I'm using. So now let's go here. It's just a time saver. If you need to, pick up your tiny brush and you can go right back around the cuticle area with that. You know, you can detail with it is what I'm trying to say. Now, before we cure that, let's magnetize again. Beautiful. If you don't want that straight line in there, go in this way. Put your little curvy line in it. But because I am doing straight lines, I prefer I'm doing a little geometric here, so that looks good right there to me. And let's freeze that. I'm using our um, flash and cure. This is a powerful little flashlight. Freeze it into place. Now let's do um, this way. About right there. Fill it in. Same thing now. Let's grab our magnet. Here we go. Here we go, GGO. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. See how fast that was? Or 
Whirly Deep Wonder. Is it 55? I, I don't remember. It's either, is it 55 or is it 40 or is it $40 off? Cheryl, can you check that for me? I don't remember. I don't remember if it's $40 total or if I marked it $40 off. I'm sorry, y'all. I have a lot of product I have to keep up with here. I know I put it on sale. Somebody check it for me, one of my regulars, please. These are normally $95 for the entire set. $40 off. Okay, perfect, Melinda. I apologize, you guys, for misinforming you on that. So, yes, it's $40 off. It's still a huge savings when you consider um, that each of the um, open stock bottles are normally about $15.95 a piece. So, it's $40 off. Thank you. $40 off. So, $55 for the whole set. Uh, okay, awesome. And if you've not ordered it from us before, um, we're great on our shipping. We, uh, we get your orders out really fast to you. Plus, we put freebies in every order. We always try to put something in that you can try. Um, we'll send you some glitter. We send you some foil. If you place over a $149 order, that order ships for free. And if you place over a $200 order, you get a very nice freebie with your order. It could be a top gel. It could be a foot file. It, it could be it's just whatever we have on hand at the moment. Okay, so now let's pull this little side with our magnet and look what's happening here. We're just getting this beautiful little diamond pattern that each one of them has their own little magnetized field. Uh, Melinda, I'm using the Royal Precision Brush. This is the brush that will also make um, the petals and the vines all on its own. I love this brush. Like, I use this every day. Now, we're going to put this in the big lamp and let this get a full cook. And let me show you what I'm going to do to the middle of it. It is Rhonda, and it's so easy to, you know, put the diamond touch with any color that you've already got on hand. Now, this is uh, my favorite stacker. This is the Northern Lights stacker. I'm gonna go into this right here. You get all one, two, three, four, six of these. This one is called Northern Lights number one. Or number two, this is number two, sorry. So now we have a full cure on this little baby. Look. Let's take a little bit of our top shine. This is a no wipe top shine. And we're gonna paint that right in the center, right here. Just over the middle. And we're gonna pick up some of these Northern Lights and we're gonna lay that just in the center of this little diamond. We don't want this everywhere. I want my middle to kind of pop a little bit. And let's just push this back into the parameter. Don't let that go outside of there. And then when I finish this, I'm gonna finish it with both a matte and a shiny top coat um, to just give some interest in here. There you go. Let's freeze that. Oh, Lizzie, me either. All right, there we go. Now, before we go any further, let's grab us a matte top coat, and I want to top coat everything matte at this point. 
except the middle. Don't get your matte top coat in the middle, but get right up to it. Nudge up where that red is at. That deep wonder is just beautiful. Y'all know I'm gonna have to wear this color, right? There. I'd love to see if any of you try this. Uh, although you'll have to message me your photograph. Still can't post pictures. I can post them, but you guys can't post them. I don't know why. We are working on it. We are working on it. Okay, so that's a matte top coat everywhere. And I do see just a little bit here. Let me get just a bit closer. And let's cure that now. Okay, while she and the cooker, grab your builder, just a little bit on your palette, just a tiny bit. I would, I would think that would be enough. Let me get just a bit more, just in case, so I don't have to stop. About right there. Uh, you do, Rhonda? Yeah, it's so versatile, so versatile. Look here, even my, uh, matte, look how pretty that is. So I'm going to leave everything matte on this nail except what's in the middle. I want to pop up the middle like it's a, um, like it's a diamond, like it's a stone, but I don't like that little piece of glitter sitting out there. I think she already cured rats. So let's take our builder. And let's go right over this middle diamond. Builder is stiffer. Uh, the viscosity is different. This is a soak off builder. So if you soak off your client's nails, guess what? The artwork will soak right off with it. But this is thick enough so it'll pop up that diamond and give it some really nice texture. And for your clients that can't keep a stone on to save their life, they can wear these liquid stones like this because there's no way they can knock it off. Okay, just right in there. And I'm going to turn that over so that that uh, drains down to the top because I want it to stay popped up. And while I've got it turned over, I'm going to freeze cure it upside down with my flashlight here, look. Because you know the minute you turn this back this way, that gel wants to fall down on you. Oh yeah. How pretty. Now let's top coat this middle little bit of no wipe top coat because we're going to make it really shiny. Just like that. Look how beautiful. And let's freeze that. And just because I'm picky, I'm going to go back through with a little bit of this wild wonder and I am going to emphasize uh, my lines here. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Little bit of wild wonder on my palette, just like that. And then I'm gonna grab, this is called the perfect line Look at this brush. You get super itty bitty t thin tiny lines here. And I'm just gonna go right through here and just make sure this is nice and even and crisp. Look what that did, amazing. If you um, are heavy handed, 
go ahead and take your flashlight and freeze that so it doesn't have time to ooze and run and that sort of thing. Just freeze it into place and go all the way around your, um, your diamond with this. Oh yeah, what a huge difference that makes, right? Now, if you want to leave this mat, you can simply nudge in one, you know, thin layer of matte top coat, but I want, I want these lines I'm putting in right now to stay shiny. So I'm gonna go over just my line work with a little bit of no wipe top coat because I love the contrast uh, between the shiny and the matte. Hi Teresa. I do too Melinda. It's you know it's like my go-to brush. I use it for everything now. And let's go right here. You can see where I've kind of offset this diamond a little. There we go. And we're just freezing that. Let's pop that in the lamp. And this is the nail we did earlier, the vertical ombre with the diamond over top of it. That's ready for some vine work, some uh, maple leaves, those of you that have our little fall decal bundle, that's, those are on sale 40 to 50% off, by the way, if you didn't get that and you wanted to get it. You could do anything on that. And here is this one. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, let's see, Adela, is it... Okay, so the silver one is Diamond Touch right here. Make sure you've got a magnet that'll pull that. And let me back up my camera and I'll show you guys the other. Hold on just a moment. So what I used is the um, Orly Deep Wonder. I used from that collection. And then I used the um, Diamond Touch. Now, um, this class will continue on Wednesday. I'm going to show you how to use your Diamond Touch with your foils. Hold on. Let me get my sample. I've gotten over 100 requests to do this tutorial online. So this will be Wednesday's class. And that is also done with the Diamond Touch gel, some hollow foils, a few little paillettes. Shed a little light on the subject here. Uh, Tracy, they're already marked off. They're already marked $40 off. You don't need a code for that. You can just pop it in your cart and it gives you the $40 off on the whole set. So this will be Wednesday. Um, so be sure you tune in Wednesday for this class because this is a fabulous look for, uh, I think this would be pretty for New Year's Eve. Um, if you're like, I love to wear black, you guys, on my nails. Um, so if you're like me, something like this I would even wear through the holidays. We could spice this up with some white snowflakes or anything um, of that nature. You're welcome, Tracy. Any other questions, um, all you got to do is ask. So we will continue a separate tutorial for this Wednesday. I don't want this one to get lost in today's tutorial with this, so I want to keep those separate for you, okay? Um, all of our fall and... Most of our fall is on sale. I'm not going to say all of it, but I think most of it is. So go over there and check out the fall and Halloween um, um, workshop and categories as well. Thank you all for joining me today. Happy Sunday. 
Uh, Cheryl, the glitter stacker I used is the Northern Lights stacker. It's the big one, just like this. And it makes those liquid stones. That's what we call this, actually. I should have told you that ahead of time, the one that we just did. These are called liquid stones. And uh, you can see on the top that's popped up. It's so, so beautiful. Um, and this is my go-to for liquid stones. When you use Mood Magic, apply matte over. Uh, Mood Magic, there is a tutorial on my YouTube for that, Lizzie. So go over there and grab that. Are they going to be on sale Friday? Is what going to be on sale, Adela? I love the Northern Lights. Yep. Oh, yeah, you're saving for that one. Yep. You can use this with a ton of stuff, y'all. I like getting a product that I can get... Um, that I can use for multiple projects. I don't wanna buy one particular nail product and I only get one kind of nail with it. I gotta be able to um, create and get lots of different varieties of nail art out of there. And this is really, hands down, my go-to. As a matter of fact, I've dropped my stacker so much, I've broke her all up. Um, so anyway, uh, that's one of my favorites. But if you are just logging on, we use the Deep Wonder Collection. All six gels are $40 off, which makes the entire set $55 for that. The Diamond Touch Gel, I don't know how much this is, you guys. I can't remember. Uh, I don't remember. It's, I think it's under $20. And then the magnet's about seven-ish something. Sorry, I have a lot of product I keep up with. And I don't um, always know the prices off the top of my head. Uh, you're welcome. Anybody have any questions? Uh, the Northern Lights is very worth it. You will use this a ton, a ton of times, especially with holiday coming up, you guys. You want to stock up on some stuff like this that gives you a really nice holiday look. When I first started doing nails, I couldn't buy every color in the holiday collections that came out. Uh, but I would get two or three colors, new colors, and mix that in with my other colors that I had going on. So something like this would be great um, to play off of that, and it kind of will change up those old colors and make them fresh, if that makes sense, okay? All right, guys, y'all have a great day. Uh, will I adopt you? <laughs> Honey, I adopt you, but I can't feed you. No, I, I, I can sling some nails, but I in the kitchen, I can't sling nothing in the kitchen but some dishwater, let me tell you. So I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.